Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on the little chestnut orchard. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys, it's been a while since we've been up here. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on these chestnut trees I have in my little orchard thing. As you can see, this has gotten quite, gotten quite tall. Um, base is getting pretty big. Doing pretty good. Deer haven't messed with it yet. Obviously this cover should be raised up a little bit. Then we have our other one right here that's doing that's doing really good as well there should be two more in there that i never put anything around i don't know if they're in there or not i saw one but the deer continuously eat them but as you can see this one right here is doing pretty good you just need to have a look let's come over here right here we have a i believe what i believe to be a butternut it seems to be doing okay. I mean, it's a little too close to the chestnut, but I just planted these fast. Here's another one, another chestnut, which has been eaten off like 10 times because I keep forgetting to put stuff around it. But the base is, base isn't too bad. I'll eventually get up here and put something around it so we can actually, you know, grow and not be eaten. Over here, we got another chestnut. We got three all together that are in cages. There's another one down there, I believe. I don't want to walk down there because then the deer will use my trail to go in there and eat my tree. But right here, we have we have another one right here. Doing decently except for the holes. And we have some leaves starting to grow out. But overall, doing pretty good. And it's been a long time since we had an update on these. I believe that right there is the other chestnut, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, there's already a trail down here. Might as well just go down here. Yes, that is it right there. There's two of them right there. Um, sadly, the deer continuously eat them off because I keep forgetting to put stuff around them. I have not been up here enough, which is the problem. And what really stinks right here is so I have these trees down here, and right there, there's a dead dead i think that's a chestnut oak that is that really stinks and now it's at risk of you know falling this way towards my stuff i can't win i really can't win all right guys so that little um one i was talking about is actually right there there's the other one i don't know if you can see it or not but there are two in there that don't have cages well technically we have three all together that don't have cages this one's got a cage that one's got a cage and that one way over there has a cage but I hope that's a little bit of an update for you guys. They are doing pretty good. The deer have not eaten the tops off them. I mean, they did eat some leaves on that one over there, but they kind of grew back. And I got this one down here. Okay, guys, so here is a look at our bigger chestnut trees. These are hybrid chestnuts, if you haven't seen the other videos about them. All of the chestnuts that I germinated and grew and sold came from these two trees. Decent genetics when it comes to producing nuts, obviously tree quality, it's not really a tree. It's more of a bush. But it is very good for nut crop. Um, if the tree would have grown up in a not shaded area, it would be a tree. Because the saplings you guys saw were very, very tall. This grew under a tree when it started out. So that's probably it. And then the dirt under this ground is very bad. So that's probably why what contributed to this tree being, these trees, two trees being more like bush-like. The offspring shouldn't be like that. I hope they're not like that. They shouldn't be like that just by judging by the way they were growing when I was looking at them. But as you can see, we have growth starting right here. So the leaves don't look as thick this year, but uh, I don't really see a problem with it. Anyone out there that watches this that you bought chestnuts from me, know that these trees are well producers of nuts. You like chestnuts, you're going to get a lot of them. Here we have the um, pollen right here, which it seems to be starting looks like it's going halfway up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to that one tree down there and pollinate it again. Pollinate it again like I did last year. So, look, looking pretty, looking pretty good so far. Um, let's go over to, let's go over to this one. This one right here is more of a tree. Looks more like a shape of a tree. This one right over here looks more like a bush, but doing pretty good. Let's go to the bases of the trees. Starting with the bushy tree. It looks like there was some blight cracks, but obviously, as you guys know, 
These are hybrid chestnuts, so they're going to heal up. Or they should heal up, at least. I don't see anything bad on this tree. Right there, that's a wound from years past that is healed because the limb broke off. That had nothing to do with blight. I've got some new limbs down here. So, this tree's fine. Let's go over to the next one. We got some new leaves coming up up here. This tree, we have some... We have one deadish limb. This possibly could have been blight. This possibly could have been blight, this one limb. Not sure. But, you know, blight can affect any chestnut. Even a Chinese, which are supposed to be, you know, immune to chestnut blight. Well, they're not really immune. They're resistant. They can still die from chestnut blight. So, you never guarantee that your tree's not going to die. But, it looks like maybe blight was the symptom of this limb. Or maybe too cold. Or something else. But... No, they're all the tree doesn't look bad it's growing new leaves it's the limbs are going up but it does have less limbs this year but we also had that cold snap where it got down to like zero for like 24 hours so who knows going down here you can see some blight cracks which look like they've healed up so nothing to be concerned about overall pretty decent little trees and together i would say they're blight resistant it's going to be even higher since they were bred together. So overall, decent little trees. This tree, like I said, is more of a tree. The one beside me is more of a bush. Probably because we let it grow up with a twin. That was probably the problem. But overall, pretty good update. The tree is not really... looks. It doesn't look like it's in decline. Last but certainly not least, my favorite tree that we have here. My poor little child, which the top died on, but already we're almost up to this height. Obviously it was like up to here, but we're getting there. We're growing back from the base. Not sure exactly what happened here. Um, could it have been this cold snap? Uh, I don't know. Could have it been blight? It could have possibly been blight because, but this, I, th I was thinking this was a actual Chinese chestnut. I didn't think this was a hybrid, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I didn't know it was a hybrid. I don't know. It's been like three years. So <laughs> I think I put it in the ground last year, though. There's a cat coming over here. But as you can see, doing pretty good. Growing back up to the right height. I'll have to go do some research and remember if this was one that was a hybrid or if this was one that was a um, full Chinese. I didn't go to the... I've been to the location of this tree, but I didn't look at the trees, the parent trees, too closely. This tree is not... This doesn't have anything to do with those other two trees. This tree came from a totally different property along with... The other one that I've tortured in a pot forever. But as you can see, it's growing back nicely from the base. And there's a kitty right here that wants to say hi. But we're doing pretty good. Sad that the top died, but we're, we're growing back. So, so far, so good. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update on the chestnut orchard. It's been about, what, a year since I showed you all these trees. And then you saw the one where the top died. But overall, the trees seem to be doing different. We have seem to be doing decent as you can see some of the trees have less um limbs than they did just the bigger two trees but you know cold along with other things natural shedding it happens overall seem to be a pretty good update nothing's changed too much but really that's it so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video make sure to leave me a like hit that notification bell and if you're not subscribed subscribe for more content keep your lights friend i'll see y'all later